All right, guys, this week we're working on the Mandalorians, uh, Bo-Katan's crew. Um, gosh, what are they called? I forgot their name. I I'll figure that out. <laughs> I don't know a lot about some of these guys. I know what they are, but I don't know the, the clan name or anything. Kr Krills? Kr Kr something like that. Anyway, guys, um, we're going to paint these up. Uh, I'm going to try and get these three done. I've already started one. Which is actually um, this guy. I forget his name as well. But uh, he's a Star Wars Shatterpoint. These are the three Mandalorians. Or the, the Mandalorians with Bo-Katan. I do know her. So uh, with this guy we just went with that light gray. And Bo-Katan and the other gal. They, they're going to take uh, black jumpsuits. So, or we're going to end up doing a blue black. Actually for the, the other two suits. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that now, actually. We'll go ahead and do that now. We'll put him to the side, and we'll go ahead and get the, the blue-black on, on their jumpsuits as well. So let's start with, uh, with this one. I'll figure her name out here in just a second. All right, so we're going to paint the jumpsuit dark blue, or blue-black. There we go. We got the base color for all the jumpsuits. Uh, one of them had a light blue, which was a blue gray we did. And then over here, we did the black gray on the jumpsuits for Bo Katan. Nope, this is Bo Katan. And I forget her name. I'm going to have to find that out. But all the jumpsuits are down, looking really good. Real simple. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to hit up the uh, metallics. And they all have the same metallic across the board. So, let's do it. Going through this uh, metallic pretty quick here. I'm almost done with this first guy. I mean, I gotta remember these guys' names. Um, you know, just real, real quick. This particular Vallejo paint covers so well when you're doing metallic. I gotta look at those jet packs and see if there's anything besides metallics other than just a shade or a wash. Um, I'm thinking there might be. But, gotta get the base color down anyway real quick, right? So, real quick, you see how fast it goes on. Oh, I gotta get in right there. There we go. Goes on real quick. Gotta be careful when you're painting these, because I tend to flick my, my flick, 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 and then I flick down, and next thing I know, I've got all that blue work, or airbrush work, or whatever work I've done flicked with uh, metallic or whatever paint I'm using so be careful about that there we go all the metallic down took about I don't know I took my time it took about 15 minutes really not long at all all right let's get uh, bo -Katan and her other partner Alright, so it's Clan, there it is, uh, Clan Cries Mandalorian. Um, and those aren't anybody in particular, so... There we go. So, they're just uh, some, some support characters. I, I don't know if they have real names. I think they do, but I can't see, I don't find them in the actual game. I'll have to dig a little deeper. Um, I'll have to look on the internet to find their actual names, but it's Clan cries Mandalorians with bo -Katan. We got all the metallic down. We got the three cries, 
Mandalorians, Chris Mandalorian. Maybe someone can correct me on that. I don't know. I can look it up, I guess. <laughs> but these guys are looking really good. Bo-Katan and her two support guys, characters. That metallic looks really good. There's, there's no wash or anything. This is just we have the jumpsuits down and the metallics. Now we got to go with the blue work for the Bo-Katan clan. That's where we're going to get tricky. So some of the armor on the ones in the air, bo and this support character have a lot of blue. This guy's got a little bit of blue on him. Uh, he's got a little bit on the helmet and a little bit on the shins. They all have it on the shins, but these guys have a few pieces that are actually full blue. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and start on that. I'm going to use a base of, shoot, I don't know. What should we do here? There we go. I got the blues. Um... I'm, I'm thinking a base of, of dark blue first so we can make it pop. So if we do that, we go dark blue, dark gray blue, actually. And then we do a blue, and then we could do a highlight. I don't know. That's what I think we'll do. I think we'll do a dark. It's a lot more painting, but, you know, hey, we want to make it pop. So let's start with the dark. Maybe we'll see how this goes. And if I don't need to take this step, we'll just go straight to blue. Sometimes you, you, you do the dark blue, and it doesn't, it just, and then you do the blue, and then you do the light blue, and you just realize you don't really need that dark blue. Sometimes things are so small, it doesn't really matter, but sometimes it does. But anyway, so we'll try this first with the dark blue. I'll start, I'll do one character, maybe, and then I'll do a, a, a this blue and then a highlight. All right, let's do it. Okay, I got the first dark blue down. Um, it's pretty dark. Um, it's just a base. I, now what I did is I mixed the blue with the uh, with the with the dark blue, and it's we're just gonna go over the top. Probably can just skip that step if you want. You don't need to do the dark blue. But you will achieve a little bit of depth doing it this way. It also gives it a bit of a worn look. Right? So there's that. You can probably just do a blue and then a light blue, however you want, however you want to do the blues. I did the dark blue, I think I'll just do the blue and then I'll do a, a lighter blue next time for the other two. I'm also bringing in a, a guest appearance for, for this one with uh, Liquitex acrylic, uh, whatever that is, I'm not sure, gouache, gouache, guac, something. I don't know. I, I saw this blue, and, and I really wanted to check it out, and I thought it would be perfect on on Bo-Katan. So I may try this out. I may not. Probably will. Just wanted to check the paint out anyway. I just love this color. This is a perfect color. This is actually the blue I'm looking for. If you look at some of the movie art, it's more of this blue rather than a blue. So I thought I'd give it a shot. If not, we'll just stick with the regular blue. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's finish this guy up. We just have the shins to go. Actually, let's do it real quick. Boom. Boom. There we go. All right, now let's just do blue. Thank you. 
I got the basic blue. I used dark blue and a blue mix to do their base color. bo and her, her, her partner here. Uh, this, she had a lot more blue than, than bo -Katan. All right, we gotta get the belts done, uh, or the, yeah, the belts, the sash, whatever you wanna call them. They've got these belts on them, uh, and the, each one of them. So we're gonna start with a mahogany base, and then we will do a golden brown mid-tone, and then we will come in with some, uh, golden brown. Oh, dark golden brown, and then brown. Okay, so let's, let's rewind. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start off with mahogany on, on the belt. And then we're gonna go with a dark golden brown for a midtone, and then we're gonna go with golden brown. This is gonna go real quick. This is real simple. Each one of them have a belt right there. So we're just gonna knock this out real quick. And this is gonna add a little bit of color and a little bit of a color break for all that blue. And I still haven't done the final blue. So I'm gonna do that after I get the sash because I wanna see the, the contrast between the two. I'm just curious about something. Anyway, let's knock this uh, these uh, belts out and uh, go from there. Let's do it. Okay, I think we got all the brown work down for the leather pouches and the belts. Uh, we used uh, three browns. We used a, uh, let's see, we used a mahogany. We used a dark, uh, a golden brown, and we had a golden brown uh, to get these mix. And uh, let me get, let's get a quick pick of the mixtures used. That's what we used for the belt. All right, so we did a little bit of blending, and you can see, let's zoom in just a little bit. You know, it's not too, too clean, a little rough, but it looks good. We don't have any shade on that. And once we get some shade on there, it's going to look terrific. It's going to blend really well. All right, so next we need to work on, I believe, the blue. The actual blue that needs to go over the blue. So I'm going to come up with a special mixture um, that I came up with. I think I'm going to use the Liquitex for this color. We'll see. I'm going to test it out on one of them and we'll go from there. So, uh, but we're going to get the bright blue, regular blue on top of this dark blue to make it pop. Let's do it. got the blue down on bo -Katan's partner. As you can see, it's a huge difference. This really pops compared to just the, the blue-black mix, the regular mid-tone mix uh, as, that we use for the base for the blue. So when you actually get that blue over the top of that black-blue, it really, really pops. It makes a really, really big difference. I'm, I'm really happy here. This is really nice. So all we did is we just touched it up with the blue and we may even go back and do a little bit more lighter blue, but I'm really liking the way that turns out. I know I said I was gonna use this Liquitex um, paint, but I, I may end up not. This blue's turning out really terrific. I'll mix it up and kind of see what it looks like with the blue and then we'll go from there. But uh, let's uh, let's get the blue down on Bo-Katan and go from there. All right guys, let's do it. Okay, so for bo -Katan, I ended up uh, mixing up a little bit of that uh, that Liquitex dark turquoise, and that's it right there. It's probably really hard to see on camera, but uh, once we get it on this blue, it, it's probably going to look a lot different. So let's, man, that's really, see you can see it compared, I'm not quite sure if I really want to go there. Well. 
and let's take a look right here on the side and see what happens. Looks pretty good. I like it. it. Might be a little difficult to see on camera, but it makes a huge difference. I guess I'll go ahead and do Bocaton in this, and then we'll compare her to her partner and see see the see the difference. Bocaton's partner we did the blue just straight blue and on this one we did the Liquitex mixed with the blue it's deep turquoise mixed with the regular blue pro krill and we came up with this ah uh, it's it looks pretty good it's more to the closer to the color but the blue on this one just pops a little more maybe I'll just add a little bit of blue highlights to this just to make her a little different and then go from there but it looks pretty good this is actually closer to the color of what it should be than the blue if you look at the the movie pictures or the the Mandalorian and all that so anyway it looks good I think I'll touch it up with a little blue and we may even go back with some highlights but these guys are turning out really terrific I'm, I'm happy with this we still have to do the white and then the blue work on the helmet and then there's a little bit of white work on this helmet and then we're down to shading. Oh, we gotta paint the guns. That's no big deal. And then we're just down to shading everything. And then we gotta do the jet pack and the and the the smoke. All right, let's do it. What I'm doing now is I mixed uh, some regular blue with sky blue with the Liquitex, uh, just to get a bit of a highlight here. And you can see I've already put it on a little bit. Um, it's pretty bright. focus on the head just for a second here a couple little things all right here we're finishing up a couple little highlights that I did I did I mixed a couple little things up with the sky blue just to give it some more all right so Bo-Katan's pretty much done there except for wash all the base colors are down except for on the uh, the smoke and the flames so we just need to get the wash down and then maybe do a couple little touch-ups and, and we're there and that's pretty much across the board with everybody still got to paint the guns other than that that's that's about it so we're getting real close now all right let's uh let's start uh getting the wash on We'll start with uh, probably wash across the board, probably a uh, uh, maybe a blue wash, and then a uh, type of Agrax something. Anyway, I'll let you know. Let's do it. I decided to go back and do a couple of highlights on her on Bocaton's partner here. Um, just a couple little things. I did some stuff with the sky. I mixed it with a little blue. Um, just, just want to get a couple of these. All right, this is working out nice. Uh, get some there. Just kind of getting some little simple highlights all over here and there. Okay, 
Okay, so what I did here is I took the gray blue and the sky blue and I did a little mixture so I can get the cloth the jumpsuits highlighted right in here just getting the pants Did some Agrax Earthshade on on the backpack, and I think that's going to do it just fine. Um, we'll do that everywhere else on the on the aluminum. The dark, where I did a dark aluminum on the chest, on the on the side, on his thighs there, on his 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 shins and that. And we'll we'll get that with some Agrax watered down three to one probably, and that should do it. And it'll dry. Maybe do the tips of these a different thing, and then after that. I will maybe do some touch up on the aluminum with some silver, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Uh, I need to get some Agrax on that belt, oops, that's where it goes anyway, oh, I still need to do those guns, but uh, yeah, Agrax is going to go everywhere, so everywhere on the silver, alright, let's do it. got all of the Agrax on this guy here on one of Bo-Katan's support. I got it in all the crevices. I actually did a little bit on the pants to make them a little more grimier and then I did the helmet. I, again it's three to one on, on the wash. I still have to do the guns and obviously the base but uh, for the most part he's pretty much done. A couple little touch-ups, uh, highlight touch-ups, his gun, guns, and oh, well he doesn't have a jetpack smoke so yeah he's pretty much there all right so uh camera's about to die so i've got to charge that and i will start doing uh bo -Katan's partner with uh wash and, and go for i'll do her off camera and then we'll do Bo on camera so uh we'll get it off we'll get it all right let's do it Bo-Katan, we got all the black work done, we got our guns, and we got, what else, we got the soles of her boots, also got the soles of the boots of her partner over here, uh, we also got the guns here, so all the black work is done, so now all that's left is the, uh, the smoke and the flames, and a little bit of wash here and there, that's about it, we're getting closer and closer, alright, let's do it. For bo uh, head or face mask here, we're gonna, it's, it calls for white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my formula that I did with the stormtroopers and the clone troopers. Is I'm going to use a bright ivory, and I'm going to do a couple layers here on this, and then I will come back with uh, you know with, I've got to do the blue work, and then I will do some touch ups here with the white with bright white to highlight the bright ivory. So let's go ahead and do that now. All 
right, we got that done. That that I had to do a little bit of that off camera because I had to get over it. But uh, that turned out really nice. I, I like that. I mean, now we can just do a little bit of touch-ups. Uh, we got a little bit of wash on the the two flying Mandalorians on the armor, and then it's it's all about getting the the smoke in the base, and then that's it. We're almost there. The last part, we're going to do the smoke that's on the uh, the jetpacks here that's coming out of the jetpacks. As you can see, I did a little bit of brown on this one because she's coming off the dirt. And also, I'm going to put glue in my uh, my basing down like I did with the rest. Uh, uh, so that'll be there. And so it'll look like it's dust and then smoke and then the flames. And then over here, I did a little bit of brown, real watered down brown. Same stuff I used here just to give it a little dust look. And now I'm actually gonna use this contrast uh, color, Apothecary White. I, I really like this for smoke effects. It re it's, it's really nice, it's really simple. It's got that gray off-white, and then you can go back with bright ivory, white, whatever, you know, to, to brighten it up. I'll probably use uh, bright ivory and white, or just bright ivory just to cut it short. Um, so anyway, let's, let's do that. Let's get the Apothecary on here. As you can see, I did the bases. Uh, uh, metallic and I'm gonna do my wash like I did uh, uh, the red like the the clone troopers and the droids it'll be just like that so it's just a wash inside the crevices that's it and then uh, that's about it and then they're done so let's uh let's do the uh, path carry what <laughs> all right I got the apothecary white just on that white area. It just kind of smooths it out a little bit and gives it more of an off-white. I really like that. And now what we'll do is we'll just take some ivory. Got an alarm going off there. Take some ivory and do some, some whoops, got some water on there. I don't want to get that on there. Do some white, just some white, just on top of some of those nodules there, those little smoke nodules. Right there, boom, and that's it. Real quick, real simple. It'll make that pop. All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Well, there you have it, guys. Star Wars Shatterpoint, Bo-Katan's crew. Uh, man, I can't wait to see these on the table. They, these these look really terrific. I, I again, I, I went into this this paint session um, thinking that oh man, it's going to be tough. I've got to stand those lines. I've got to you know I always have those those thoughts go through my head. But you know what? Push through. Push through. Take your time on the stuff that you have difficulty or you have difficulty with my hang up on this one was bo uh, uh face i wanted to get that white just right um but other than that everything else w worked out really i was i was a little worried about the jetpack not worried about the jetpack flame but uh i was just i was concerned i didn't know what i was going to do it's 
maybe it was more excitement than or anticipation but uh, I, I really love doing the flames and stuff but anyway guys please like and subscribe it really helps support the channel share the videos with your friends uh, I, I would really appreciate it I'm trying to get to a thousand we're almost there we're, we're really moving fast we got a lot still to do uh, uh, if you have any comments uh, about what you would like to see done on the channel please hit me up hit the comments I'll, I'll see what I can do I, I'm happy to do that but uh, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Again, like and subscribe. I'll catch you next week.